Hi, this is Paul from Samwell Mobiles, and this is an unboxing of the Samsung E1190. So, this is the box to start. Okay, let's get her open. So, I went for the purple one, just to be different. Like so. So, that's the actual phone in a nice purpley colour. Right, let's see what you get in the box. Um, you get some headphones and uh, they're also hands free kit because you've got the button there which is quite nice. Samsung ones. Charger. Charger is one of those. And battery. And instructions. So that's what you get in the box. Right, let's put the battery in and get started. So, I've been having a look at the uh, reviews on this, which is pretty good on a few websites and that. One of the, one of the good things about the E1190 is it is a basic phone. It's very easy to use, which is what you want if... Um, if you're part of the older generation, you just want an easy to use phone, very basic, there's no camera or anything like that on it. But you have got an FM radio which is quite nice, that's mainly what obviously the headphones are for that you get in the box. It does store up to 1000 contacts which is good and it will save up to a 500 text messages plus you can send up to 20 contacts, you can send a text message up to 20 contacts at at the same time which is quite a nice feature um, also you've got 40 polyphonic ringtones which is obviously built into the phone which is okay if you just want that um, and one of the best features I think about this phone is you've got a 9 hour and 35 minutes talk time or a 570 hour standby which is 23 days and that's not bad going for a phone that only needs to be charged for 3 hours I think that's pretty good. And you've also got an audio player on it, an FM radio, and games. So let's have a look at it. So the buttons are actually quite a nice size for a small handset, which is like a little clamshell or fold phone, whichever you want to call it. So let's have a look at the menu. So you go into the menu, you've got messages there, and you've got alarms. So then we've got applications here. Um, in the applications we've got um, calculator, um, converter, timer, stopwatch and torchlight. Torchlight is basically, it just puts the screen really bright, it's not a torch. But there you go. Um, and then we've got settings and obviously you can set your ringtones. And then you've got display, um, you can set wallpaper, themes, um, any LCD brightness so you can turn it up, down, whichever way you want it. And you've got LCD, this, basically this doesn't make a lot of difference at all. Contrast. Um, and you've got backlight timer, so if you want your backlight timer on. Power saver mode, probably doesn't do a lot. And you've got your time and date. The time and date does stay on the front of the phone, which is quite a nice feature. Um, and in phones you've got languages, shortcuts, call out information, keypad light, always on, so you've got lights in the keypad as well. Um, and I'll come out with that, so you've got security, you can have pin codes on the phone, so you can, so the phone could be all secure and everything like that. Um, applications, uh, calls, messages, contacts. Also got a fake call f uh, feature on the phone, so you can Basically, you record a message and then you can tender on the phone to someone. It's different, I suppose. Um, networks, so that would be for your network, so if you're searching for a network or anything like that. And you've got memory, you can clear the memory of the phone, or you've got memory status. So that will tell you what phone numbers you've got where, what, what you've got in your calendar as well. Um, and you've got reset, which will reset all your features on your phone. So that's it in that part. Memo. And obviously that will just... I'm not really quite sure. Let's have a look. 
just write to yourself a memo. And that's basically that. And you've got your calendar. So you can write stuff in your calendar as well, which is uh, not a bad feature. And you obviously you can check your calendar every day if you want to. Um, you've got contacts, and you've got call log, games, one game on it. And that's basically it. Okay, so that's the uh, features of the phone. Um, yeah, so there you go. I can show you the time and date would be on the phone if it was set. And obviously your battery indicator is there, which is nice. It's a four, uh, 1.43 inch screen, which is not so, it's not too bad. At the end of the day, this is what the numbers show up like. So the numbers do show up quite big. They do get a bit smaller as you go on. Like so, but if your eyes are not that great, I do I do recommend this phone. I do sell it in my shop, so I think it's a very good phone. And that's basically it. And you've got obviously charger on the side. If you flap this little flap open, charger plugs in there, headphones plug in there, and then you've got I believe yep, yeah, you've got a little cord if you want a um, neck strap on it. And that is basically it. Okay, so that is my review. An unboxing of the Samsung E1190 E1190. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe to see more videos, reviews on upcoming phones. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.